Hello, and welcome to Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Breakpoint. This game came out after Wildlands and arguably isn't as good. But anyway, I'm going to sneak up on this person and take pot shots at their face. There's a car over there that's instantly going to blow my cover. As you can <laughs> see by the, the sirens of the drone that I'm pretty sure wasn't there before. <laughs> okay, so stealth. Not, 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 it's not going my way, is it? <laughs> Sorry, let's just take this out. Take it out. There we go. And uh, there's a two or three guys down there. I don't know. Let's just take shots and see how many I find. So there's one. And where's the other one? Where's the other one? There. Two. And that's, is that the civilian they were accosting? It is, isn't it? Okay. Let's go down and say hi to her and see if she's got any stuff for us. Yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, this came out after Wildlands. It's the same engine. It's all that sort of stuff. He's died in a yoga pose. And it... It got slated as not being as good, and to be honest with you, I, I, I tend, I am slightly in agreement of that. But it does have some other stuff in it which I really like. It's, it's got way more of a survival. Reading stranger. Anymore. I've turned this up to quite difficult. Like the AI are really good dish, uh, the weapons fire really good dish, and really there's quite a few other little aspects to it which are great ish. But what this game does really well are the different modes that you can put it in and test out the survival and all the combat. You've got your normal mode where you turn up and you survive and breakpoint happens in the main mission where you go up against, I think his name's John Bernthal? The guy who plays the Punisher is in Baby Driver. I think he, he was in Walking Dead at one point as well. Anyway, yeah, yeah. He's the bad guy. You turn up against this thing, smush him, and then something else turns up. It's great. It's good. It's okay. But <laughs> what it does really well are the other modes. I've currently got it in like a big open warfare sort of thing where everything's combat, combat, combat. But the reason I've got that very angry looking gun on my backpack is because there is the Terminator mode. Because Terminators turn up and basically just smush everything to a million pieces. And that gun's the only thing that'll stop them. And it's great and it's terrifying. I do also think there's like... Yeah, I do also think there's like an extra mode where there's like gas or something. But I've never played with that. And a new one came out recently and I don't know how to get hold of that. So, <laughs> that's my intro to me playing this game. And I think we can all agree it was uh, quite shit. Right, so while I just tag these two for execution by some member of the team I've got, yes, there'll be people out there who don't play with the team because they're hardcore, but I like playing in this co-op mode because I just, I just like it, okay? Anyway, yeah, my plan is there is a objective nearby and it's rescue some hostages. And nothing screen. <laughs> was that a death animation? Yeah, that screen circle at left. That death animation was great. Uh, is uh, rescue hostages from being taken prisoner. And when I've done that, I'll end the video. So let's make his way over there, shall we? Uh, first, I'm just let me just execute a couple of people who are reaching out for something. I I, I don't know what. Oh, <laughs> they died. In they died together. <laughs> Wonderful. So we're beelining towards this ominous factory in the middle of nowhere, which is next to a train line. <laughs> okay, so it's not next in the middle of nowhere. Anyway, it, it, it's clearly a bad guy factory because it's big, it's great, it's ominous, and oh, there's see solar panels on the roof over there. So the, the, the bad guys are into green reusable energy, so they're, they're not all bad. They've got that going for them at least. Ooh, sniper. Shall we, uh, shall we pump this sniper over there? Let's just take a shot. And aim and <laughs> wrong button. Take a shot. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. And fire. And he's dead. I see. There's hardly sniper elite levels of accuracy and aiming because the I don't think there's any bullet sway in either direction. But either anyway, it, it it's it's fun to snipe somebody from a distance and to do it stealthily. So yeah, me. I'm gonna use everybody's favorite little tool, the drone. Uh, as you can see, it just flies around. Re reconnaissance is re Recky's a place and you get to know where all your enemies are where all the little things are inside a place And then you can go in and just smush everybody. I believe you can and I know you could in Wildlands upgrade this with like night vision scope thermal scopes and some other little tools I think can make it drop bombs or is that watchdogs? That might be watchdogs 2 or watchdogs legion or both who knows? So as I returned from my reconnaissance, I noticed that I've been sat well in the open there as a strategic and tactical genius that I am. Uh, <laughs> well done me. And uh, there's a guy over here that I need to point in the face before I enter. So let's go and you can watch me stealthily snipe like an amazing snipe snipe that I am once more. So let's just come around this corner. 
Yeah, thanks for highlighting them in red. That's absolutely fine. And... They're dead. And now I can enter this side with relatively no to no resistance. No to no resistance. Yes, well done words. On full and top form there. Right, so how to get into this incredibly secure facility over this very small wall and ankle-high hedge. I wonder if we could just mount it and jump. To jump, leap, vault, catapult yourself over, crawl between these two little pieces of grass. Okay, so the elitist soldier and the elitist of the elite was outthwarted, outsmarted, and outdone by an ankle-high hedge. <laughs> Who'd have thought, eh? Now we're in. We're gonna go and uh, get that thing off the roof of this building. It was like a chest or something. And smush any bad guys that are in the way. Oh, oh crap! Oh, it, it's Michael from GTA 5! Hi, Michael! Maybe there's a crossover going on we don't know about. That'll be. A, oh, to be honest with you, I would pay good money for a crossover like that. I really, really would. Alright, so let's just stealthily make our way through here. Oh, did I see somebody through there? Oh, there's a guy. Oh, shall we go melee him? Melee? Melee? Oh no, oh, shit, sure. he's seen me! Uh, <laughs> I didn't I didn't react at all to that, did I? Um, <laughs> thank you, whoever shot him! It definitely weren't my team because they are not in the building right now. Maybe he died of shock. He was like, oh shit, there's somebody there! Just went up the. I'm guessing that. Let's go with that. Oh crap, there's a guy! And he's dead. Did anybody hear me? I don't think anybody heard me. Smooth. Right, so I've cleared out the building, I've killed four men, petrified a civilian, and all for this crate over there. But first I'm gonna smush this dead sniper. Does he have anything on him? No, he does not. All right, let's move over to the crate. What's in it? Is it ballistics? Is it weapons? Is it gadgets? Is it money? It is Oakley LSAs. It's ballistic sunglasses. <laughs> That was not worth it. I, they can stay in the box as far as I've got to That was... Four men are dead and one man is not sleeping for months. Because I wanted to look ever so slightly less stylish in glasses that make somebody look like they're trying to eye you up without being noticed. Now, I'm pretty sure there was a second crate on this base, so I'm going to go for that. And hopefully, inside of it will be something a little bit more high-end, other than some plastic eye protection gear. I've decided to go for the approach of maximum death, maximum stealth, which means everybody dies and nobody notices. Uh, this is probably not the way to play the game, but it's the way I've chosen to do it. <laughs> if you do not like this, well, <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah, I'm a grown-up, you know. Blowing raspberries in your direction is something I am not above doing. Now, I know you can do this in Sniper Elite, but can you do it in this game? Can you make one bullet travel through one guy and kill the guy on the other side? No, you cannot. Did that second shot miss? I think it did, but that third shot did smush him in his teeth. So, uh, he's dead now. Oh, there's a person around this corner. And... She's dead now! Ooh! Now, let's take cover behind this very bulletproof hedge. I'm actually starting to find it a little bit disconcerting of how still not detected I am. I mean, I've killed a lot of people now. Like, a lot of people. Oh, I've been detected. I have been detected. Why didn't I react to that at all? I shot him in his body armor. And he screamed and he's dead. Let's just take out his friend. Yep, that's, he's definitely full of bullets. Oh, he's... That's an epic death there, isn't it? All right, let's get up this ladder. And let's claim the high ground and hope for the best. Climb the ladder? Climb the ladder. There we go. We've learned how to climb ladders. What was I saying about not being detected? I, th I think it's because I said it that it happened, right? It's got to have been. Okay, so now I'm just going to hold this roof because there's only <laughs> quite a few ways to get onto it. Right, so there's three guys down there. If I can just get a grenade and just drop it on them, that'll, that'll do it. So just creep up, creep up, creep up, creep up, creep up, creep up. I can't. Where have they gone? Somebody's seeing me. Let me just throw the grenade there. Ah, there's a guy! Uh, no, I dropped the grenade! No, no, no! Well, that got him. Nothing. That was, that's exactly what I was planning. Okay, so people are starting to climb onto the roof now. Good to know. Now I have the high ground, I'm just going to start picking people off from this 
particular point of advantage. As a teammate, do not punt him in the face with bullets. That would be very bad. It appears that the uh, firefight is dying down. My team are slowly taking care of the remnants on the other side of this building. I'm going to uh, go over to that crate and see what was in it. And hopefully it'll be better than a couple of pairs of glasses, you know. So let's open the shiny crate. Like, shiny crate. What is it? It is Dear Moss Mall Magazine. That, you see, now that is a practical item. That is useful. That is a magazine that holds bullets that stops me, the person who is well known for absorbing bullets, from getting, running out of the bullets that I need to put into the people who want to put bullets into me. Keep it tight. You see that? <laughs> that sentence makes sense, right? It appears that we've killed everyone. Wonderful. So let's just leisurely stroll over to our original objective, which was all the way over there. I have rummaged through all the boxes and all the crates and all the things that were here, just so I can- Oh, there's a guy! Where? Where? He was there! Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! Okay, we're clear here. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, there's a grenade! Oh, it's me. <laughs> I, I scared myself with my own grenade. I don't think I'm cut out for stuff like this. <laughs> Right, so we've come across a firefight between the bad guys, who I can't remember what they're called, and the good guys, who I can't remember what they're called. And it gives me a perfect chance to use the angriest sounding weapon that I own, which is that Terminator weapon that I pointed to earlier. Just listen to the sound of the shot, it's just... just can you hear that? That sounds like the weapon that is actually trying to kill you. Like, actually trying to kill you. Outside of games like Black, or firing a massive cannon, <laughs> this, this is one of the best sounding weapons that I've fired in a while. But the scope is crap, so I'm switching it out. It looks like the bad guys are all over the rebels in the middle. They're coming from the top and the bottom of the hill. They're lucky we turned up, to be honest with you, because otherwise they would have been in, like, big trouble. Can I hit him? Ooh, that was a good shot from me. And they're running around like madmen as well, so let's just pick off the guys advancing from the bottom of the hill. And then we'll move down and help take out the vehicles. See, we're tacticalizing. Is that a word? It's, it is a word. It's got to be a word, right? Grenade tactics. I did not throw a single grenade there. Looks like the assault has less. It, 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 it looks like the assault has used its last amount of reinforcements. There is one car left, and these guys advancing down the hill. And so, <laughs> you know what? The firefights in this game. If I'm going to say anything about them, is they are. Incredibly good. Oh, they are they are fantastic. What was that? That looked awesome. That looked great. Yeah, the, the firefights in this game, if you play it right, if you're depending on how you like to play it, this game nails like action. It really does. And watching them unfold is utterly superb. <laughs> it really is. So no, I'm yeah, I can't I can't criticize the way that this game does action because it, it does action really well. Oh, there's a car here. Let's uh, just... This is the gunner all over and kill. Okay, so there's a guy leaning out of this. Let's shoot him. No, nope, missed. Okay, so getting out of a car makes you immortal temporarily. That's good to know. So his friend is dead now. Let's kill him. Let's kill him. Let's kill him. Let's kill him. Him? Him. First try. Excellent work. Right, what was I doing? Oh, rescuing cat. Res yeah, that, that, that thing right there on, on the right hand side of my screen. That one. Let's do it. Let's go and do that. So let's throw ourselves down in the mud. We are far enough away and at the safe side of this piece of water to not be a threat. And now we're going to drone things and see if we can spot anything in this godforsaken mist. There's one of the captives already. It's going well. Um, there's a guy. There's another prisoner. Are they all just going to be on this, like, randomly arranged rig? Is there <laughs> It, and it is, it is a randomly arranged brick. I mean, look at it. No, there's no more captives on here. Why is that coming as a surprise? I mean, genuinely, why is it coming as a surprise that the prisoners aren't in an easily escapable situation? I mean, I'm not going to lie. I'm disappointed, but I should, I should not be surprised. Hello? Anyone here? I th you thought it'd be a lot easier to find some stationary people being held, you know, captive by angry gunmen. But it, it's proving... It's proving very difficult. I can't see anyone. I found a cage that doesn't appear to have anybody in it, but no, um, the hostages, which is concerning. Is there anybody over here? Yes, there is. That's the third one. Right, so three down, one to go. 
Where the hell is he? <laughs> this building looks pretty open plan, so maybe the hostage is in here. It's just so sweet. Uh, outcast civilian! Outcast civilian! It was there! It was there! Tag him! It didn't tag him! Wait. In there? Okay, so there may be five hostages, or there, there may be traitors. I don't know, because I've just seen five of them. It, it, we all saw that, right? I'm just That's checking it. in here to make sure there's nobody else. I'm confused uh, now, because there seems to be... Anyway, I think I found them all. <laughs> so now I think the next thing to do is take out all the Overwatch, starting with that sniper there. That crafty old son. So let's just move forward a little bit, because I think I'll have a better firing arc. That's a terrible firing position. Yeah, I'm going to shoot a long way. I'm going to lay on my side. Let's see if I can do this in one. Can I do it in one? Can I do it in one? No! Shocker. Can I do it in two? Uh, uh yeah. <laughs> yes, I can. How did that? That just worked, didn't it? That just, that just, that just worked. Why, why did that work? I'm just as shocked as you are. Anyway, I, now I'm going to pick off everybody on the dock. So I'm going to take out everybody guarding the prisoners first. And then move around all the guards. Second, I can't see sod all through this mist, so... <laughs> this this is a man for sure, one of the hostages. Who knows? I think I'll move to a better position first. Just to, you know, so I've got some, any, uh, just a ah, line of sight of any description. So this is the best firing position for him I could find. It's, it's, it's not great, and that shot didn't even go anywhere near him. How about that one? Is there something in the way? Do I need to... No? It, come on! One of these shots hit! Maybe I need to aim up a bit. Oh, that was why I needed to aim. Very happy. That, why is nobody else hearing that impact? Because if I can hear it from here, which is what, 200 meters away, that's a loud noise that he's giving off. I'm just saying. Anyway, he's dead. Who's next? Why is everybody alerted? It, it, have they found... Oh, they found the dead sniper. Ah, oh, bugger. I must have killed enough of them by now. I, I've, that's, I've done like two or three of them. I think that's the pier clear. So if I go in, get those two hostages off of that like pier thing that I keep talking about, and and, and then, and then, then let's just see where we go from there, yeah? Because how hard can it be? Oh, and the alert's gone down, so everything's going my way. Yay! <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, no, the alert's coming back. The, the alert's definitely come back. Wait, is that a couple of people on the? Rig there. Oh, bagger. Um, I'm gonna cow behind that pier, and I'm gonna make a plan from there. So the plan is s swim up to them, shoot them, don't get seen doing it, and then <laughs> then see what happens. I'm pretty sure I can get up to them without being seen. Um, I mean, I'm I'm swimming silently. Uh, I've been spotted immediately. I've been shot quite quickly. And now that guy has no crotch. Oh, there's another guy. Can I shoot him as well? Yes. Okay, so that that went... It could have gone better. Now, I'm no tactical expert, but the fact that all of those arrows are angrily marching in this direction, I think they know I'm here. So I have to kill these guys quick time before the hostages, you know, get executed and all that good stuff. So let's kill him and see what happens. Is that a grenade? Is that going to kill the hostage? No, no, I didn't. Oh, good. Did I just take out those two guys? Oh, that's amazing. Okay, so I can do something else. What do I do now? Um, I don't actually... Something is shooting at me, right? I don't know what to do next. Do I... Oh. <laughs> what I need to do next is fail the mission. <laughs> Somebody got shot. I didn't... It wasn't, it wasn't my fault this time. Or it was, but it wasn't. But it, it was. Right, so let's do another. Let's, let's do that again. So after doing a quick sweep, it looks like all the people I tagged are tagged still. All the hostages are still marked where they are. And I, 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 everybody's alive again, which is a tad annoying because it took me absolutely ages to kill them in the first place. But, 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 but we'll, we'll, we'll skip past that. <laughs> the lesson to learn here is make sure everybody's dead. First, and then there's less people to spot you. Second, get onto the pier, figure it out from there. I think, I think that's the plan. I'm going to take everybody out here, swim in, win. 
Can't, can't go wrong with that plan. Well, except if he used the wrong rifle. Oh, wait, no, then there's that sniper as well over there. We're gonna take out this guy first with probably two shots, is it? This is about two shots from this range. I think there's a damage drop off. I don't know, but he's dead now, so I don't think it really matters. Is that a guy there? Can I hit them? Let's do that. Did that miss? Oh, balls to it. I don't think they spotted me. They just know somebody's getting shot at, so I don't think there's any risk of them executing a hostage. But there is a massive risk of everybody finding out that I'm here. Oh. Tit. Right, okay, so just take him out. Oh, he's not dead yet. Got him. Okay, so who's next? You turned around just as I fired. Excellent. Now you die. I missed. Uh, it's just... Did one, come on. Did one of those hit you? <laughs> I'm an elite sniper. The best... This is, this is my best plan, okay? <laughs> Swimming in from a different angle. I've taken everybody out except for one guard, and it's the one guard of the prisoner over there. So if I can take him out stealthily, I can just walk up, free those two, and then worry about the other two later. Or even just abandon them all together, because that, that, that seems like a... It's a viable option for me right now. Okay, so let's, let's jump up here, get behind that box, and then let's... Pop his head up. Yes, 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 he's probably going to start spotting me straight away. But if I kill him quick enough, I should be fine. Did that work? <laughs> it worked! Why did that work? Anyway, so, uh, yeah. Let's go free the prisoners. So here we are at prisoner number one. Let's cut them loose. Let's feel very smug about it as we go. And here we are at prisoner number two. Feeling even smugger. Now, while these guys are in some sort of safe area, let's take them to the extraction point. I do not know where it is. Maybe I should check a map. Where is it? Where's, where's the extraction point? It doesn't say! Oh no. Do I have to rescue them all first before I can extract? Oh, that's let's go. Bull. That's utter horse crap. I wonder if I could take them out of that. It's that circle thing, just saying that that that's the area I have to get them out. So if, if I get them over, oh, is that the extraction point? Yes. Okay, I have to get them over there. If I get them through the water, let me just show you what I mean. If I take them through the water, I can take them around the edge. So if they we could swim to freedom, let's swim to freedom. Excellent! So let's jump into this really cold looking water. Like, really cold looking water. And get to this, like, pontoony barricade. Crawl onto the edge. Wait for the AI to figure out how to do it. Jump back into the water for no reason at all. And wait for the AI to catch up. Come on. Can you not come in the water? Ah! Oh, they're there. They're on their way. They're on their way. They're on their way. They are not jumping yet. Are you going to jump in? Are you going to jump in? You are not. Oh. Bold. So it appears that we can't extract them via swimming. Oh, no. So plan number two is this. I've told the other two hostages to go and wait in a safe place. And I'm going to try and rescue the other two hostages. Did I forget to take out the sniper? Yes, yes I did. No, 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 no. Okay, so uh, situational update. Everybody can see me, and uh, I'm surrounded by bad guys. And uh, oh no. Okay, so I think I can actually take that guy out, and then that's just one of the guys who can spot me dead, right? Or did that just alert everybody to where I currently am positioned? Okay, so running away. <laughs> Running away very hard right now. And then I'll, I'll take up a position here and let's, let's just see what happens. Because they appear to be... They don't appear to know I'm actually here, here. They just know that I'm over here. I wonder if I can take him out. Oh, it, it, oh no, that last shot missed. Crap, 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 crap. Can I hit him? No, there's a thing in the way. Oh, bugger. Did that guy just run past all of my team? Team, what are you doing? I don't know, shoot him in the back of the head. I missed! Oh, damn it. And that's a mission failed. 
I'm gonna say that wasn't entirely my fault if my team had actually shot that guy in the head instead of him letting, you know, getting straight, letting go in straight in words and words and words and words. He walked straight past them. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, on to uh, attempt number three. I don't know about you, but I'm getting mixed messages from this box right now. <laughs> He's like, tell me what you want from me. <laughs> tell me what you want me to do. What do you want? <laughs> After arguing with a box, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't come as a surprise if I said this attempt has gone very badly. <laughs> very badly indeed. Okay, attempt number four. <laughs> okay. So this is broken. Um, I'm cheating a little bit right now. I, I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can get your team to shoot, like, sync shot normally. But I've figured out that if I sink them from over here they appear to be able to shoot through walls terrain environment time space and reality and pick off anyone who i've tagged using the drone anywhere at all indoors outdoors underground in your mom anywhere and nobody as long as if i'm not getting detected seems to give a <laughs> give a flying no you know Give a flame. <laughs> I know I've sworn in this video, but I'm trying to cut down. Honest. I, I will try and take out some people. So, look, look, watch. I'll take out this sniper. Uh, I missed. Uh, let me let me try and take out this sniper. I missed. Oh, that shot was well low. That, that's better. And uh, let me try and get two more shots on him. I think that's what it'll take. So, uh, shot number two, this will be. Won't it? And the last shot. And he's dead. See, I can still shoot people. But now I've now I've, I, I'm picking them off like as if as this death himself has turned up. Moving to the target. Yeah, so uh, I've broken the game, and it's making this mission way too easy. I mean, she's using a vector, which let's face it, isn't it, that that's that's not a gun used for sniping with, and the other guy's using a shotgun, which I'm pretty sure people also agree. It is definitely not used for sniping with, and apparently I'm leaving the area, but I don't know why. Uh, so I'm going to ignore that message and continue on anyway. Right, so you can take the shot, so that is what you are going to do. <laughs> wow. Okay. So three more down. Uh, a few more to go. This is actually quite entertaining. The guys in the base must be going around just watching the friends drop dead going, Oh, that can't be good. I can't be good. <laughs> what do we do? What do we do about this? Actually, to be honest with you, my team must be going. I don't even know how we're doing this. They're just, we're just, they're just dropping dead because we don't, I don't even actually hear a single shot come out of them. Maybe they're killing them with their mind. <gasps> okay, so we're gonna save the first hostage. He <laughs> was been sat here next to a corpse for we need move enough we time need to, to consider it slightly traumatizing. But anyway, now let's. Like the ghost that we are, take a leisurely yet tactical stroll to the second hostage, who is somewhere over there in the dark. Probably. Oh, it's over there in the dark. No, over there in the dark. I know what I'm doing. And here is the second... Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry, I appear to smash my testicles into your face. So we're making our way to the extraction point with these two because I don't know where the other two are, I can't remember. You gotta hand it to this guy doing the extraction. He's got some n nadders on him, hasn't he? He's just parked his helicopter here, inside of the tree canopy, and in full view of the enemy base. <laughs> He's that guy had some guts. That they could have wandered out. He was only like twenty yards away from the base. They, they could have wandered out and gone, "Hey, right, mate, why have you parked your helicopter here and just stood here?" But maybe the overt was how covert it was. <gasps> maybe it was that. Okay, let's make our way into the building. Here's a corpse that we shot through three walls and maybe some metal framework. And here's the other one. And there's another corpse. <laughs> and there's a very confused hostage. Just watched three blokes drop dead for reasons of meh. What, in all honesty, she could have freed herself. They, th these resistance fighters are useless, aren't they? She could have easily sort of wriggled around and got out, but no. She had to wait for us. Oh, and there's a fourth corpse. Wow, we went to town on that building, didn't we? Well done, guys and girl. Here is the second hostage next to another surprisingly dead corpse. Surprisingly dead. I don't think that's what I meant. Oh, look, they, they left their mask on and their hat and their headphones. 
So there's no way of identifying them, even if they did get free. But and also, it's nice that the hostage and interrogators, hostage takers and interrogators, let them listen to their tunes while they were in the stress position. It's, it's very thoughtful of them to do that. I mean, these bad guys, if we take into account what we've learned, is A, they like their green energy, making them planet friendly. And they are slightly kind to their uh, prisoners of war, making they're not actually as bad as we think they are. So maybe, 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 maybe we should give them a second chance. But we've killed them all, so maybe that second chance is uh, it's, it's gone now, <laughs> because they're all dead. Uh, does that make us the bad guys? <gasps> Ooh, plot twist. As we deliver the final two rescued hostages, there's a goose! There's a goose! <laughs> it's the Untitled Goose Game GTA 5 Ghost Recon Breakpoint crossover moment! <gasps> it's like all crashing together to make what? I would actually pay good money for a game that had Untitled Goose Game running around in this and like free roam. <laughs> Just running off with everybody's kit. That would be great. Uh, I want to see that. Somebody make that happen. Make it a mod. Make it so you can play as a goose at this. Please. Anyone. Somebody. Yeah, do that. <laughs> Yeah, what was I saying? Oh, Jesus, I was saying the Now Go I've completed this mission after, Our people let's just know say, one or two too many attempts. I will say thanks safe. for watching. Right. Please like and subscribe if All you have us. any recommendations, challenges, anything like that. Please leave them in the comments below. And that is me done. I am out of here. So have a good one and good. Oh, I'm on it.